Hey guys, welcome back to Outdoors Learning, and today we're going to be talking about five living animals that resemble dinosaurs. The first animal we're going to be talking about is the alligator gar, which feeds on fish, waterfowl, mammals, turtles, and carrion, which is dead things. It lives in the southern United States and is endangered because in the early 1900s, people would kill them because they thought that they were pests. They can weigh up to 300 pounds and grow to 6 feet long and can live up to 50 years. And their fossil records go back almost 100 million years. The second animal is the California condor, which is critically endangered and is the largest flying bird in North America. It is almost a 10-foot wingspan and went extinct, in the went extinct in the wild in 1987, but was bred back in the San Diego Zoo, and in 2018, there was 488 of these large vultures. The third animal is a saltwater crocodile, which is the largest crocodilian and lives in the warm waters around Asia and Australia. It can grow up to 20 feet long and is the apex predator and feeds on mammals, birds, and fish and can weigh up to 2,500 2, pounds. The fourth animal is the coelacanth, which has a nickname of old four legs because of its four fins protruding from its body. The coelacanth was thought to have died out with the dinosaur 65 million years ago, but was rediscovered off the coast of Australia in 1936. And when it's fully grown, it weighs about 120 pounds and is endangered and has showed no change in evolution since the dinosaurs. The next animal is the Komodo dragon, which can run up to 12 miles an hour and has a venomous bite and is the largest species of lizard in the entire world and it only inhabits a few small islands in, the Indo in Indonesia and can weigh up to 200 pounds. Next animal is the cassowary, which is a large flightless bird that lives in Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and parts of Australia. It is the third tallest bird and the second heaviest bird and eats mainly fruit and can get, grow up to 6 feet tall and 125 pounds. The next one is the paddlefish, which is a filter feeder that feeds on small organisms floating in the water. The Chinese paddlefish could grow up to 23 feet long, and the American paddlefish could grow almost up to almost 27 feet and weigh almost 200 pounds. Sadly, the Chinese paddlefish went extinct in 2019 because of the Three Gorges Dam that was set up on the Yangtze River. The next one is the lamprey, which is a jawless species of fish that is parasitic, which means that it attaches onto other animals and sucks their blood. It can grow up to four feet long, and these jawless fish were around t during the time of the dinosaurs, and is an invasive species that now made its way all the way up into the Great Lakes. Then we have the Cuban Solidodon. Which, eats, is, which is an insectivore that eats insects and worms and is found in the forests around Cuba. They have a venomous bite and was around during the dinosaurs and not the dinosaurs, like the mammoths and all those big animals, and is in critically endangered and has a lifespan of up to five years. They used to thought that this animal was extinct because there was not very many sightings of them, but... Now they've been able to secure photographs and they still know that they're still out there. The next one we're going to do is the beluga sturgeon, which feeds on seals, carp, herring, crayfish, and pike and perchin. It is the largest, or it is one of the largest species of freshwater fish in the world and can live up to 100 years 
and is critically endangered because beluga sturgeon are hunted for their caviar, which can be sold at very high prices. The largest beluga sturgeon ever caught was 3,254 pounds and measuring 7.2 meters, but the average one gets about 2,500 pounds. The next animal is the halbender, that they live in the central United States and are endangered and are the third largest salamander in the world, growing up to almost three feet long. And the largest type of salamander is the Chinese salamander that can grow up to four feet long, and it eats mainly fish and crustaceans. The last animal we're going to be talking about is the giant isopod that can grow to be one foot long, but the largest one they've ever discovered was up to two feet long. They can live for up to eight weeks without food, and they live in the deep seas in most of our oceans. They eat things that have died and floated down through all the layers of the ocean to the bottom of the sea, and that's how they get their food. They have bony exoskeleton, which helps them with the crushing pressure of the water. Thank you for watching this video by Outdoors Learning.